Hey girlfriends, welcome back to the channel for another video this week. If you're new here, my name is Jerenika Mycia, but all my friends call me G. And if you are a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back this week, girl, and clicking on my face. If you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up, like, share, comment, subscribe, do all of the things. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, girl, for all of the fabulous updates, okay? And come back each week for weekly uploads. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my top five luxury sunglasses. And today is actually gonna be the last top five this is it girl we're closing out the top fives however the fashion diaries will continue and i cannot wait for the next part of this series but today we're talking all things sunglasses you guys know i love sunglasses sunglasses is like my go-to i don't care what i'm I, I got on i can look so good so cute fashion girl she's giving you a look or I could be toe down from the flow down okay I am gonna have on sunglasses that's just what it is Yante. okay now I know I said top five luxury sunglasses but I think I'm gonna just do top five sunglasses because when it comes to sunglasses I do not discriminate I don't care if the sunglasses are um, designer luxury or they're from like Amazon or you know somewhere more affordable so yeah I'm a little nervous about this because I didn't switch my top five y'all I tried to prep for this video it didn't work so let's just hop right into this all right so i know the first pair that i will add to my top five is going to be in here so number one on my list if you at home you probably already know what i'm going for i don't even have to say it because if you know me you know it is definitely going to be my fendi havana sunglasses these are like an archive piece for me and i have been collecting these for years okay i've been looking for these for years let's just say that and i finally got them I have one more pair on my fashion archive wish list that will complete my Fendi Havana sunglasses I'm actually gonna put the ones I have because I have the what is this the tortoise and I guess you could say chartreuse I have the tortoise and purple and I also have uh, this pair this is I guess you can say red and burgundy or red and brown so I do have three pairs okay how all of the sunglasses the Havana sunglasses the yellow is my fave I feel like these just go so seamless and effortless with anything I put on no matter where I'm going these are like girl let's just put them on I, I, they probably don't look good on my uh, scarf so let's just do this are you saying this they look so good and if you can see my eyes like I'm always with the vibe um I also learned when it comes to sunglasses I have to have a transparent tinted lens like I'm not really like a full black out sunglass girl anymore I need my sunglasses to be tinted okay so most of the sunglasses I buy now you need to see my eyes it's just so good I can wear them indoor or outdoor on a sunny day rainy day cloudy day it does not matter a tinted lens will always just be appropriate for any situation these had to make my top five because I don't care listen if I had to literally get rid of all of these sunglasses which I love all of these glasses I would have to just keep these because this right here timeless period <laughs> all right next up on the list I have a pair of sunglasses that were gifted to me every time I wear these sunglasses people go crazy about these sunglasses y'all and they're like where did you get them get can we have a link and these glasses were actually gifted to me from a subscriber. Her name is Coco McQueen on Instagram. She have like um, a fashion boutique. I'm gonna link it down below. She sent these to me maybe two years ago. She sent these to me in all colors, but I fell in love with the black. I'm always on a hunt for the perfect black sunglasses because y'all know when it comes to black, I'm gonna wear black. But sometimes certain glasses just don't fit the vibe. Maybe they're too edgy for a look or too, mm, to I don't know I don't have the word I'm losing my thought they just don't fit the, all of the vibes these glasses fits all of the vibes no matter what I have on I could literally be dressed up and have on all black and these will look so good even if I'm like more girly and feminine these will work or even if I'm edgy and like street chic these will work these are like my go-to sunglasses also anytime I'm traveling I'm gonna pick these up can we just have a moment like are you are you saying this they look so good on my face and the shape everything about these just say yes girl like when she sent these to me I was like oh my god this is cute and I broke these a few months ago and I said in a vlog I was like I was hurt I'm in Target trying on clothes and I broke the glasses she actually resent them to me and girl to this day I low-key I wear these things so much and I just feel like 
I'm afraid to break them or lose them now. And I'm like, okay, I need to all order another pair. So maybe I should order another pair just to have in the tuck because I wear these out, y'all. This is like my go-to. I don't go nowhere without these. So these are definitely um, in my top five. All right, now that was easy. One and two was real easy. I still have three more pairs. Now when it comes to this video, I try to prep for it. It was just stressing me out. So I was like, you know what? As I sit down with the video, I'm gonna just open up all the cases and I'm gonna just pick glasses, pick the top five like that. And y'all, you know what's so funny? My heart is beating fast. I'm like, Jerenica, it is okay, sis. You're not really starting over. But I am like stressed. So I don't know which way to go. I think I'm gonna go here because Let's go here, cause you wear these a lot. So next up on the top five, I'm definitely gonna go reach for these Fendi Aviators. I have these in every color. Baby, when Fendi dropped these, I was working at Saks. And I was like, dang. Yeah, she had to cop every color that they dropped. So they, so they came in these rose gold pink frames, which with these, you can't really tell that they're rose gold for some reason. They look more black, I don't know. These are rose gold though. Uh, they came in this gold, which baby, I live for these. Like, these are so good. And what I love about these, these are very lightweight sunglasses. And they came in the black with gunmetal, which I probably wear the most because y'all know I'm always in black. So they look like this. And they may look lopsided because I'm trying these glasses on on top of my scarf because I don't want to mess up my hair, but Oh, so good. So these definitely had to make it to my top five because let me tell you something. When it comes to sunglasses, you have to have a pair of mirrored aviators in your collection. It is like a must. You cannot have a sunglass collection or sunglasses at all and you don't have a mirrored pair. What I love about mirrored lenses and frames, they look good on anybody. The key to sunglasses is you have to find sunglasses that fit your face, the shape of your face and stuff like that. I know for me, it's really round frames, they don't look good on me because I have a very um, full face. So I stay away from like very circular sunglasses. However, when I tried these on, the first pair I got was the gold. Y'all, these glasses are just so good. I hope that hopefully I can find them and put them on the screen so they don't, I, cause I know this is not helping. With these sunglasses, I wear them out. That's why I did get them in um, all colors. I did not mind getting them in all colors. I did not mind paying full price for them because I knew I would actually wear these because I love the gold so much. I actually around that time found someone who was selling a dupe to the gold. The dupe is duping y'all. The dupe is just a little off because it's a little big, but the dupe was duping. I got these because in the summertime, I love me a um, mirrored frame. And I remember purchasing these and I, I think I went to like a pool party or something and the water, the chlorine water got on these glasses y'all and I could not get the water spots off of it. So I told myself when it comes to like pool, salt water, I am no longer wearing luxury designer glasses. That's why I started a whole affordable sunglass collection so I could wear these to the pool, the beach and stuff like that. Of course I don't want to lose them but if I was to lose them I wouldn't be hurt because I believe I paid these glasses retail for probably, I can't remember, this was like years ago, probably $600 and I ruined them so I did repurchase them and also purchase the dupe. So yeah, so these are definitely going to be in the top five because I do wear these out. I love, like I said, love them so much. I got a dupe version of them. And I just, this is like my go-to on days when I'm just running errands and I want to look cute and put together. Something about a mirrored aviator, it just gives you like, oh girl, where you going? It's just, it's so good. Okay, it's so appropriate. You cannot have a sunglass collection without having a mirrored aviator. So definitely number three in my top Um top five all right so believe it or not let me make sure dang those will be great in the top five but i don't wear them enough uh, i'm just skimming making sure i ain't forget nothing okay i think i got the next pair so we did one two three i got two more pairs and i think i got the uh next pairs okay believe it or not y'all the next two pairs of glasses in my top five y'all not gonna believe it and i just got these i sold these out on amazon i think these were like 17 dollars. i live for these glasses these glasses are so good that i was telling y'all when i showed you guys these let me just try them on so you guys can get the vibe mm -hmm. oh baby yes mm-hmm 
Are you getting this? You know what's so su sucky? A lot of people don't like to watch fashion content. Like, you guys love lifestyle content. Y'all don't like to watch fashion content. But when I show fashion stuff, and the girls get it and sell it out, and then you see me with it on Instagram, and we're like, well, the link, there's no link for it. No, there's no link for it because you didn't watch the video to click the link when it was in stock. I told y'all to get these. Nobody listened to me, but the girls who got them, girl, you got you a good pair of glasses. These, baby, when I went to Houston, I have never traveled with only two pairs of sunglasses. So I've traveled with these. And y'all know I was telling y'all, I don't think I'm gonna go back and get the pink because the pink look a little cheap. Something said, gee, mm -mm, you need to see this for yourself. So I did order the pink. And let me tell y'all, I take back my words. I take back my words. The pink do not look cheap. Now, I'm not a fan of the... I don't know if you can see it has like the they on the website it says leopard i'm not a fan of that but once i put it on you cannot see them y'all and i was like oh no i love these now what i love about these they say pink but on me they look more of a neutral a brown girl are you seeing this now these are still available these are still in stock the girls did not sell these out i would recommend these because i think these are so good like are you getting it mm-hmm yeah you see this so i would recommend these if these come back in stock girl get them right now these are like my go-to sunglasses i am switching these out i'm either wearing these i'm wearing the pink or i'm either wearing these black sunglasses i'm like baby what were you thinking about when you said you wasn't going to purchase the pink i love these glasses so much y'all that i i have to tell y'all get the sunglasses these are good if these come back in stock i'm going to be on a hunt and looking for y'all you need these because baby they definitely have to make it to my top 10 the way i've been wearing these glasses out you would think i like literally don't have other pairs of sunglasses the way i wear these i feel like i don't wear these enough because i can't wear these with lashes but and they have dust on them. These are a pair of Margiela glasses that they did a collaboration with another brand. And I wanted these so bad, but I cannot wear these with lashes. Ooh, these are so good, right? But I can't wear them because they just like to fight my lashes. These are a bomb, bomb pair of sunglasses, but I cannot add them. Oh my God, can you just look at these glasses? Look at that. It is the detailing on these glasses, but I can't add these to my top five because I don't get to wear these enough. This is definitely like a pair of glasses with, that I wear on days when I'm just gonna wear mascara. I don't plan on taking on my off my glasses at all. And yeah, that's rare. And these are a pair of Dior glasses, y'all. I went on a hunt for these glasses and paid full price for them. All for me not to wear, oh my God, wait a minute. These sunglasses, the pink ones from Amazon, it's a great dupe for these. Huh, and I paid full price for these, and I don't even, full price sunglasses always just, whoo, it takes some out of me. Y'all, it's the same pair of glasses. So if you like the Dior, I forgot the name of these. These right here are great dupe for these, wow. You know what's so funny? I paid full price for these, but I, right now I'm wearing these more. I don't even pick up these anymore, but I'm not getting rid of these because for some reason, sometimes these do come in handy. I know somebody at home probably saying, gee, why aren't you adding the Loewe mask frames? Y'all know I love these, but I just got these and I also don't feel like I wear these enough for me to um put these in my top five. Since I purchased these, I probably picked these things up maybe two or three times and not because I don't love them. It's these are called for a specific look. This is when you just wanna be extra ba ba boom and you're doing the things. And these I cannot wear when I'm like really inside. So I have to really be outside doing the things for these. So can't add those. Okay, I got them. I got my last pair of sunglasses for my top five sunglass list. Now when it comes to this list y'all, this may constantly change, but right now this is like my top five and I don't know how I did not pick these. It's definitely gonna be these um, brown and red Amazon sunglasses. Another pair of sunglasses that I live in. Like I am just a girl. I'm telling y'all, when it comes to a frame, by me loving sunglasses, and I've always been the girl, just buy, 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 I don't do that anymore. Now, I only buy frames that I love, and I know I'm going to constantly reach for, and right now, the glasses that I reach for the most are glasses that have, like, this tinted, um, colored lens. That's my vibe. Moving forward, that's my vibe. I could love a pair of sunglasses down, and they have to be something like this. Like, this is the Loewe Wave Mask. 
this was like a piece that I could not leave. But also these are mirrored. Y'all know how I feel about mirrored lenses. But these right here, y'all, I had to add these. Oh my God. I believe these are still in stock. These are just so good. Mm, mm, mm. Oh girl, they're just so good. So yeah, this is definitely number five on the list because how could I not, okay? How could I not? I love these. These do come in green and I believe they come in black. They, I didn't need those because clearly I have other green and black glasses. I'm trying to only buy glasses that I love. And every time I open these cases, I'm just like in love with everything. Right now, after I purge, I'm, oh my God, I forgot about those. After I purge my sunglasses, I'm in love with everything. Oh my God. Like, are you getting this? This is what I want to see when I opened up my sunglass case. I want stuff like this, like, yes, ma'am. I don't want boring glasses. All of my glasses need to be va va voom. Okay? If they're boring, we don't need them. So anything that's boring, I got rid of. I'm going to just try on one more pair. These are back in stock. I did pick these up from Amazon. You guys are in love with these glasses. Y'all remember I told y'all my sister said I should buy these. These glasses are lit. Like, <laughs> are you seeing me? I, don't I look like such a cute little bug? Like, I love these. Just imagine me during the fall with like a nice chunky sweater, my hair laid to my scalp, okay? With these things on, with a nice beat. Yes, these are too good, okay, for me not to have. All right, y'all, so that is pretty much it for my top five because I feel like I'm getting a little distracted. Now, with this case right here, I do have a few slots, so I'm always looking to fill these slots because of why not? I love me a new pair of sunglasses. I do want to say this. When it comes to sunglasses, you do not have to only have des designer or luxury sunglasses. You will literally miss out on some of the most bombing sunglasses you probably will ever come across. I have sunglasses here that is like to this day people ask me they'll be like oh my god where did you get these and I'm like girl three dollars from forever 21 this is a pair of sunglasses that I literally paid three dollars for I paid three dollars for these sunglasses at forever 21 back in 2020 I was like new on YouTube and I kept telling y'all go get the glasses they're on sale they're on sale these are so bomb to this day when I wear these glasses, I get stopped. Where, where, where did you get these? Now, these are very thin. They're very lightweight. But this is a pair of sunglasses, y'all. When I put these things on, you would never think these are $3 from Forever 21. Do you see me? Now, I do not like round frames. But these have to be an exception. Are you seeing this? Baby, this right here, y'all. Three dollars from Forever 21. So I want to make a point of it does not have to be luxury and designer for it to be a good pair of sunglasses. Now, of course, all of the sunglasses won't give you like the designer luxury quality, but you can definitely find some great pieces that will be in your collection for a long time because like I said, I've had those for a while. Now, just another tip, I will highly recommend starting you an outside sunglass collection. When I say outside, that's the sunglasses that I'm going to wear to a theme park, a water park, a beach a pool party somewhere where I know I'm about to be doing the most these glasses could get damaged probably lost broken and I'm not heard about it okay like anytime I go on vacation to like places like Mexico or if I know I'm gonna be on the pool or something I have a certain pair of a group of glasses that I'm gonna bring I'm always gonna bring these this is the Fendi dupe y'all know how I feel about the uh, Fendi sunglasses the aviators Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring these because the real ones, I learned my lesson, they're not coming back. I'm going to bring these. Anytime I travel, I feel like you need, especially when you're traveling to like a tropical vacation, a mirrored lens is a must, period. Now these are very large and just in your face, but when I'm on the beach, it's definitely giving. With my bikini, it always gives like, oh, is that a lifeguard? Like, what is she giving, Baywatch? Yeah. Okay, y'all, I'm getting off track and I could be here forever. But I'm just saying, when it comes to sunglasses, do not discriminate. Buy what you like. Don't buy what look good on me. Buy what looks good on you. I hear people say, I don't like sunglasses because they don't look good on me. I feel like maybe you just haven't found the right style that fits your face. And you just, you have to keep trying. Keep trying. I've always been a girl. Even when I go into designer stores, luxury stores, I'm going to try on sunglasses. I'm going to see what I like, see what looks good on me. And that's how I curated this this collection of goodies. Now, that's all I got because if we being honest y'all, I just wanna sit here and talk about some more sunglasses, but we're not gonna do that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this um, 
I lost my thought because I had something else that I wanted to say. No, I'm not about to say nothing else about sunglasses. Okay, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, share, comment, subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know your top five sunglasses. And yeah, that's all I got for the top five uh, fashion diaries top five series. And yeah, if you enjoyed it, girl, give me a big thumbs up because this one wasn't as stressful as I thought. But I feel like I should have. I just want to try on all these glasses because y'all. Okay, I'm gonna just say this and then I'm gonna let y'all go. These sunglasses. I was on the hunt for these for years. When these were released, these are Celine Phoebe Philo sunglasses. I could not afford these things. These things were. I think they were retailing for seven ninety or something like that. And I was like, <gasps> I couldn't even think about spending seven hundred ninety dollars for sunglasses. But can we just have a moment for these? Ooh. Baby, it's giving J Lo. It's giving yes, Miss Mamas. Uh huh. And I did get these on a pre love market for a hundred dollars. Had to, had to have them, girl. But let me let y'all go because I will be sitting here trying on glasses all day because I just saw another pair that I want to show y'all. But I ain't gonna do it. Like this video.